Today I went to Oodwood Perfumes. We're not talking about Tom Ford. We're talking about a local shop that sells niche Middle Eastern perfumes. I saw a new brand to his store and I told him to give me two. Pick any, just give me two. Today we're gonna unbox both of these and do a first impression. Stay tuned. My name is Neve. welcome back to Aromatics. Today is gonna be a first impression on two fragrances from the brand of Miller Perfumes. Miller Perfumes is a company that specializes in Middle Eastern perfumes, also known as a niche Middle Eastern fragrance company. The fragrances we're gonna be talking about is one for him and one for her, and it's called Santos. So we've got two Santos, one white and one in the blue. If you're interested in any one of these fragrances, you could check it out on owperfumes.com, aka Oodwood Perfumes. This is for her. It comes in this white box, Miller Perfumes on the top, and that is the correct pronunciation per the brand themselves. On the back, we've got some ingredients. This is 100 ml, 3.4 ounce, and on the bottom. All right, so there's an insert in the box that holds the fragrance, like so. Pretty standard box, nothing spectacular. Miller Perfumes Santos for her. It's a red bottle, so the logo is embossed on the top. The cap slides into place. It doesn't fully click on, but it's on there pretty snug. The front seems like a stickered label, so nothing spectacular with the presentation, but I'm more interested in the scent itself. It has like this descending shape, which also has an embossed Miller logo on the back, as you can see there. On the bottom is also more branding information, the sticker. And this one is an Eau de Parfum concentration, made in Kuwait. So some of the notes for this fragrance include flowers, patchouli, and musk. That's all there is on the website. So let's see if we can break this down and go ahead and get it on the tester and look at the atomizer. Very nice atomizer, pretty far and not bad of a distribution. So here we go. It smells like a hefty dose of jasmine. I'm getting a decent dose of amber. Nothing too sweet, but if I had to guess, there might be a slight dose of tonka and musk. This is musk, jasmine, a little bit of tonka, earthy, very refined, ambery, and patchouli. It honestly almost resembles or smells like the color of the bottle because I am also getting a hefty dose of rose. It smells like a rose that's blended well with this jasmine and that musk. So a musky, slightly sweet, and earthy rose fragrance. Really nice. The more that this one's drying down, the more that I'm starting to pick up this rose. Gentlemen, if you're considering getting her a fragrance, then you might want to consider getting Santos for her. This smells pretty good. It smells pretty nice. Pretty natural smelling. Rose, jasmine, patchouli, musk, some ambers, and very, very slight bit of sweetness. Not completely unusual, so it is relatively safe if you enjoy floral fragrances. Ladies, you should definitely check this one out if you want something musky, floral, and patchouli. Smells good. And this one is really strong as well, so you've been warned. So the next one we're gonna get into is for him, and the box pretty much looks exactly the same. Miller Santos for him. Pretty much the same exact design, except it's just a different color. I really do like the way that that crown looks, and the same thing on the base of this fragrance. So here we go. Let's see what we get as far as the notes. So there really isn't too many notes of this fragrance. There's just a little description that says a blend of flowers, patchouli, honey, and jasmine. So let's see, atomizer check, pretty good. And here we go. Yeah, this is really freaking nice. Getting a lot of that patchouli. I'm getting something aromatic and jasmine. This is honey, jasmine. There's definitely something aromatic that's giving it more of a masculine edge because when you read jasmine, honey, flowers, and patchouli, you might think, okay, this sounds relatively soft, maybe even a little bit feminine, but no. And the patchouli is pretty highly dosed. This is strong. This is strong stuff. It's pretty sweet. The jasmine is dosed up pretty high here, but it's counteracted with whatever aromatic they're using. It's gotta be either Artemisia or Sage in this fragrance. And whatever that aromatic facet is, greater than the jasmine quality. So it keeps it from going a little bit too feminine. Because jasmine can make things lean a little bit feminine in my opinion, just because of the, the white floral and musky qualities of jasmine. When it's overdone, it makes it just a little too soft. It is relatively soft and refined around the edges, so it's not anything sharp. I personally would classify this as unisex, slightly leaning towards the more masculine vibe. I am getting something which smells like leather for whatever reason. I'm getting this leather vibe in this fragrance. I know it doesn't list that it has leather here, but I'm definitely getting this leather vibe. I don't know if maybe it's a combination or a tandem of a couple of notes that's resembling leather, but I am getting a definitive leather nuance. It smells like leather, jasmine, honey, patchouli, and ambers, and maybe either artemisia or sage. I'm leaning more towards the sage for this one. It smells pretty damn good. It smells potent. It smells strong. It smells like leather. It smells refined. Both of these fragrances actually smell pretty dang nice and they have a little bit more of like an unusual vibe because of the fact that they're from the East. They're not what your standard uh, Western perfume is going to be like. Both of these have aromatic qualities and traits, including the feminine version, but the feminine is a lot more rounded off, a little bit
bit softer, more musky, whereas this one stands out a little bit more and gives me this leather vibe to both of these. The occasions for both of these fragrances are gonna be relatively the same because they smell pretty high end and they're not your usual DNA. So these are not mass appealing fragrances. This one is a bit safer than this one. This one, because it's got that heavy leather nuance and amber and patchouli, I would reserve this for events or dates where you wanna be noticed, you wanna stand out. This is gonna be leather, aromatic, some florals and patchouli. And I would say pretty much the same thing for the ladies version. It's special occasions where you wanna be noticed. Although not completely unusual for those in the East, this is not gonna be the average mass appealing fragrance for those of you in the West. So if you enjoyed any one of my descriptors for either of these fragrances, then I would consider picking this up. They retail for around $150 each. And you can save 5% by using code aromatics on owperfumes.com. That's all I have to say about Santa by Miller Perfumes for him and for her. I will definitely be picking up a couple more of their fragrances. There's one in specific that really had my attention was Secure, but I didn't want to grab it because I already sniffed it in store, but I'll definitely be grabbing that one because I think it deserves a full review. If you enjoyed watching this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and until the next one, peace.